My name is Caitlin Tisdale. I am the Director of Education and Family Programs with Historic Locust Grove and welcome to my garden. Uh, so this week we wanted to do some garden uh, content because we were supposed to be hosting our uh, annual gardener's fair this week but since we weren't able to do that we wanted to invite you into our own gardens. So welcome to mine. It's not a whole lot. Uh, my husband and I just moved to this house uh, a little over a year ago, so we wanted to uh, try and go, go slowly with what we planted. Uh, first here you'll see just one of our more simple beds. Uh, we have our hostas. They actually came back really well this year. Uh, they were very small when they started, so they're, uh, they're still growing. And of course some azaleas. They're pretty hardy and resilient plants, so they did very well too. You can see their first spring blooms are already coming off. Uh, and I also have some more uh, video of it raining on those beautiful blooms as well. Um, but they, they bloom several times a year, so we're, we're lucky that we get to see multiple flowerings on those. Uh, I'm very proud of our Japanese maple here. It's actually already grown quite a bit even since we moved into our house. Um, but the leaves, when they come in, they're so vibrant and red, uh, it's hard not to love a good Japanese maple. Uh, as we go over here, you'll see some of our knockout rose bushes. We actually just had uh, a couple nights where we had some really bad frost. Uh, we covered our knockouts and our regular roses, but uh, unfortunately some of the frost did uh, still damage them and I had to prune them not too long ago. Um, but you'll see they're actually doing really well. They started out as plantings just about that big uh, and they've already grown this much in just a year. Uh, so we're really proud of them. So you'll see all three of our knockouts. Uh, we have a dog and he likes to run through the knockout bushes so we've had to put up the little fencing uh, to keep him from uh, getting uh, into our rose bushes and actually hurting himself with the thorns. Uh, one of the interesting things that we have here is our magnolia tree. We love our magnolia. It, it's not bloomed yet this spring, but you will see some of the uh, flower pods that will uh, actually grow into blooms later. Uh, so you can see them popping up. An interesting thing about magnolias is they retain their leaves until they're about ready to bring on their new leaves. So they don't drop their leaves in the fall. Some of the new uh, leaves that are coming onto the magnolia, so we'll, uh, as the spring progresses, we'll have more uh, leaves dropping. Uh, we have some burning bushes here, so uh, they actually just got their leaves uh, a little bit ago this spring. Uh, and then in the fall, the reason why they're called burning bushes, in the fall they turn this beautiful bright red color. Uh, and look like they're on fire. Uh, it's really, really cool to watch. Uh, above those burning bushes, you'll see our beautiful pink dogwood. Uh, dogwoods are some of my favorite trees. Uh, all around our neighborhood, we have uh, pink and white dogwoods all throughout uh, in the neighborhood. And over here, our last thing, you will see our rose bushes. Uh, my grandfather actually uh, grew rose bushes, so growing up I was always seeing their gorgeous hybrids. He would actually uh, kind of make his own uh, slits in his seeds and, and uh, make his own roses. Um, and so here I have my tea roses, uh, and you'll actually see the level of sunlight that they get. Roses typically like a lot of good sunlight, but unfortunately uh, with the way that our backyard is, and the direction our house faces, uh, you will uh, see this bush actually gets the best amount of sunlight over all three of our rose bushes. So we might eventually have to pull these two up if they don't do any better this season uh, and plant something else here. But this rose bush has gone from being about this tall to being nearly as tall as myself. Uh, I'm five foot two uh, when I'm not wearing heels, but it's got some gorgeous buds on it already this spring. Uh, I think I've seen about six or seven buds 
Uh, we lost one to the frost, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of uh, my garden. Uh, you might have heard my son in the background making some noise, but uh, all good gardens have a little bit of extra life in them when they have kids. So uh, thank you guys so much for coming with me on a tour of my backyard.